tiny baby out. Look at it. Oh my goodness, the first one out. Oh, hello baby. but I put this little baby into a dish with a damp rag that I cut up um, just so the other ones can't step on it. It's kind of having a bit of a harder time hatching than the others so I just wanted to give it a chance to rest before the other ones walked all over it and stuff. But we do have four out of seven hatched right now so that's really good numbers. All three of the other ones have pipped so hopefully they hatch very shortly. I've put three babies into the brooder already. There is two yellow ones and a black one, and some of them have pretty little legs, and they are so cute, so let me show you. Here they are. They still have some drying off to do, and typically I do not put them in here until they are 100% dry, but I did have a few babies that were having a hard time hatching, and these little guys were being a little too rambunctious. So I went ahead and put them in here. But look, you can see it's furry little legs. Let's see if I can get a good shot. There we go. Look at those furry feet. Hello, baby. Welcome. You're so cute. So we have one baby right here that is working its way out very decent. I'm going to show you all the chick that has had a very hard time that I did put in the little dish that I showed y'all. So if you do not want to see a bloody chick, then I would click off now. All right, I'm just gonna peek this open a little bit. So there's the little chick. Um, the blood looks worse than it is. She just had a hard time hatching. I don't think her veins were all the way closed yet before she came out and the other ones kind of forced her out. But she is in a little dish and with a wet rag. So that's kind of why the blood looks a little worse than it actually is. Um, but she's doing okay. She's moving a lot more now. She's breathing good. So hopefully she makes a speedy recovery. Here's the other one coming out. He's pretty wet too. But yeah, like I said, uh, the other ones were just a little too rambunctious for my liking. And so I went ahead and moved them always my favorite y'all know that i love to do baby chick photo shoots so stay tuned for those probably within the next few days i gotta let them get fluffed up and cute before you take a whole bunch of photos of them but yeah if you follow me on instagram which is the same name homestead cortez you can see all of those baby photo shoots was in the dish I went ahead and took her out just so she can get some warmth from the other ones and feel them when they're walking around this one is very newly hatched yeah. as the time lapse that you just saw but this is the newest one not sure if this little green one right back there is gonna hatch but we'll see yeah this one's having kind of a hard time 
hopefully she gets stronger. So I've decided to put this one under a heat lamp. It's not that close. Um, it's close to get some more warmth, but not hot enough to be burning my hand. I'm gonna lower it just a little bit. But I think this baby just needed some more warmth than what the incubator could do. Okay, so that little one, she just kicked her sibling. But this little one that I had under the heat lamp, I put her back in the incubator after holding her under the heat lamp for about 10 minutes, I would say. I have spritzed her with some warm water as well. I just felt like she was a little too dry. And so I got her damp, that way she could get a little warmer. And she seems to be livening up a lot since doing those things. Here's the one that just hatched. You can see how lively that one is compared to this one. Do you know what I mean? And even that one, that one wasn't lively a few minutes ago, but it's getting better. This one's just having kind of a harder time. I may put her back in her dish with a warm, damp rag in there. Okay, as you can see, the little one is in the dish. I did put a warm rag in there. The rag is pretty moist and it's already, you can tell it's fogging up, which is really nice. I, she just, I think she just hatched too quickly for herself and just got too dry. Here's a little black one. Yeah, this green one, I really don't know if this green one right here will hatch. Um, I have not candled it. I only candle once and that's about at the halfway mark. So maybe, you know, day 11. Um, and it was doing fine. So lockdown, it went on lockdown, but it has not done anything. And everybody else has hatched. So six eggs have hatched. This one's the lone seven. So I'll give it another day and then probably call it. All right, so here's a little baby that was in the glass dish, doing much better. This little egg, it still has not cracked. However, it keeps wobbling and I can hear chirps coming from it. So I'm gonna leave it. I think I'm gonna leave it for another two days and just see what happens with it. This little baby needs to dry off a little bit more and then she can go in with the others. So I did put all the rest of them in here. I think there was, what, two or three? I can't remember when I last left off. But now all of those are in there. So we still have two in the incubator, one that's hatched and one that's still in its shell. So we have five so far in the brooder. I gave them some little food over here and there's their water. But I think I'm gonna end the video here. I will update y'all tomorrow on how the unhatched little baby chick does, the one that's in the green egg, and how the little one that was in the glass dish does overnight. I think I'm gonna leave it in the incubator probably overnight and then introduce her to her siblings tomorrow morning. So yes, thank y'all so much for watching and tune in maybe tomorrow for another video on how all seven, right? There's five, two, yeah, hopefully all seven. For sure six, hopefully we get a seventh. Thanks, bye. Mm -hmm.